Do you want to talk about Bindi AI first? Yeah, yeah. It was basically you can say cursor for apps. So we have got more than 300 plus apps. Basically, it's a cluster of apps which you can chain together to get your things done. So if I have to give an example, if you go to Amazon, you search for Ikigai book, you get tens of recommendations of books that want to store that recommendation of book into a Google Sheet and then want to send that Google Sheet to someone on Slack. So basically, you're opening three tabs out here. But with Bindi, you can just prompt stuff. So internally, there are MCP tools, APIs being called for those several apps. Mm -hmm. And it will chain it together. It can be done with just prompting. Like those apps will, will be called and get things done for you. I don't open even my ID most of the time. I just yeah. ask Bindi to create PR, merge PR. I can actually use those apps on Bindi itself so that I have not to open any third party app again. I can just ask Bindi to, hey, get things done from this app with just, uh, you know, with just writing. I'm not even writing, typing these days. It's just about um, speaking with the voice and get things done, kind of like that. So yeah. I guess, yeah, this is the general notion of building Bindi and we have more than 40,000 users this now as we have started in April and yeah it's been a good journey so far for Bindi.